Well, good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. I've just gotten out to the reef now. Just put the anchor in. Um, the water looks amazing. We've had a couple of days of really strong southerly wind, so it's just pulled in that, um, it's pushed in that blue water, uh, which is really nice. I'm so keen to get in there. Um, but the wind is picking up minute by minute. At the moment, it's probably like 10 to 15 knots. And I think in the next hour or two, it might get up to like 18 to 20 knots. So I'll just keep an eye on that. And um, yeah, the water's really warm too. It's, um, it's, it's saying on my sounder, it's 25.4 degrees, which is just mental. So let's get up in there, hopefully get some fish. That's really nice and clear. A bit annoying, but I forgot my um, booties and gloves. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. I just got a shot on that big blue bar and I just hit it high and it ripped out. Oh, far out. Their scales are so big, it's hard to penetrate them sometimes. That was a big fish though, that would have been easily six to eight kilos. I can't believe I lost that parrot fish. That thing was huge. And I got such an easy shot on it, it swam straight up to me. Oh, I would have rather to just miss completely than to hit it and it rip out. That sucks. Well, we'll keep diving. The water's really nice. We'll keep diving, hopefully get a fish. I did see a small mackerel then. It was just a small Spanish. Um, so they're around. I've just got to find the bigger ones. So let's get back in the water.
I've just anchored up at a different spot again. This is probably the fourth spot I'm trying. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's pretty hard going. Besides that one blue bar, there hasn't really been a fish worth shooting, so. Hopefully at this spot here, there's some nice mackerel cruising through, but yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Yes! Woo! Wow. Beautiful mangrove jack. Oh my gosh. I didn't miss that time, boys. <laughs> oh. Wow, that's amazing fish. Oh, yes! Yes! I'm stoked. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful Jack. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Finally taking something home to eat. Oh, that was cool. I could see it from the surface, just on top of a rock, covered in bait. I could see the Jack there just sitting. And um, I dove down as quietly as I could and just really, it was really calm. And, dove real slow and uh yeah it just turned to me and yeah i shot it stoned it luckily so yeah oh it's gonna be beautiful to eat so happy with that let's get it on ice and um do a few more dives and hopefully get something else Someone's cut their anchor off, left heaps of line out. It looks like it could be one of those jet ski picks. I'm gonna go down and try and get it. Hopefully it's not too heavy. get a jet ski. I won't need to buy an anchor now. Well, I'll chuck it back in the boat. It's not really good to have all that line just everywhere. You can definitely uh, get stuck in a boat prop or worse, like get tangled up in a, in a turtle or, or other animals. Cool, I found that anchor. Heaps of line on it. Makes me think maybe it got stuck in the jet ski's uh, jet and maybe cut off or, I don't know, maybe the bloke couldn't get it off the reef and um, just cut it, so. Yeah. If that's your anchor, by the way, let me know. I might give it back to you. I'm just gonna head back in now. That wind's still really strong. Um, yeah, I got that nice mangrove jack, so I don't really need any other fish. I didn't see any mackerel, unfortunately, besides those few small Spanish, but yeah, it's still beautiful to dive in this uh, visibility. It's crystal clear, just so nice, so relaxing. Um, but yeah, 
Head in now, fill that fish up and cook it up for lunch. Should be nice. Before I fill it the mangrove jack, I'm gonna measure it and weigh it. So let's do that now. 3.25 kilos. Not bad. And it is 61 centimeters. So 3.25 kilos and 61 centimeters. Decent fish. Quite a bit of blood in the fillet. I uh, don't think I bled it too well. This is what's left over. I missed a bit of meat um, just around the belly, but yeah. Now the guts on this was huge, so I'm gonna cut it open and just see what was in there. Uh, just a whole bunch of organs in that. Interesting. Had answers for me, I just like surgeon kids, that's why they're a crankly bag out on surgeon with all the dogs. You can't catch like the tuna like salmon or tuna. The tuna's like tuna. Like yeah, you can see um it's more on the jelly that you go out and find that is. I don't think, I don't think it's going to be like that. That'll be hard work. Yeah, they're hard to see. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
when it first started, I sat on the couch, like sending her off with Oh, it's like a bit of fat in that, that's amazing. Yeah. Took it out of it. Yeah. Um, we were at a oh, um, hard down. Christmas party last night. Should we leave that open? Yeah, I'll turn it off. Yeah. Girls, um, check this out. That looks so good. That looks so good. Fresh mangrove jack from this morning yeah. by Jean. By Primal, Primal Pursuit. Pursuit. <laughs> Yours truly. <laughs> That's my phone, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so taste testing the uh, mango of Jack I caught today. Hey, no one in a no one in a catch and cook's ever gonna go, oh that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs>